So in this tutorial, we'll look into how to create a delegate uh, using AWS infrastructure. Uh, so let's go into a project, uh, select the module as continuous delivery, and this is the landing page page in which uh, we see uh, you know how to start installing with delegate. Let's get started. So we'll uh, start with a Kubernetes delegate uh, in an EKS system. So uh, this is the uh, delegate YAML, which gets generated once you select the type of delegate you want to run. Uh, now we'll go and download uh, this YAML. Uh, let's download this. And uh, uh, let's see. Uh, so it's downloaded, but uh, the naming uh, convention uh, contains spaces and brackets. So I'll delete the previous harness delegate that I uh, used to install. And I'll rename this into harness delegate uh, and remove the unnecessary uh, strings uh, so as to uh, get it uh, aligned with kubectl uh, deployments.yaml. Uh, so let's, uh, you could see I have already uh, cre created uh, a, a EKS cluster and I've connected with it through configure SSO. And uh, let's go and uh, apply uh, that kubectl. Uh, let's get this command from here and apply it on our cluster. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yep, it's done. Let's go ahead, and yeah, it will take a few seconds uh, to get it installed on our cluster. As you could see, yes, it has uh, performed all the steps and uh, has uh, installed it uh, on our uh, EKS cluster in AWS. Now let's go to the management console of AWS and check if it's installed or not. It usually takes a few minutes to come up and uh, it will show in this pods and deployments uh, uh, type in the resource type of our cluster. So let's refresh it and try. Usually it takes one or two minutes. Uh, so we have to uh, keep patience with this. And uh, meanwhile, uh, while it's uh, getting started in the cluster side of things, uh, Let's get and see what uh, we did with the cluster. So here I'm running an AWS EKS cluster and I've configured it with uh, uh, the harness SSO, uh, which we use uh, for our own clusters, in-house clusters. Uh, but you could uh, use, you know, uh, your own uh, EC2 instance as well to run this uh, uh, the delegates. Uh, and uh, yeah, it hasn't come up yet. Uh, let's go and check in that uh, deployments uh, if it has uh, come up. Okay and deployments yeah so as you could see here uh, these are the previous uh, uh, sample delegates that i've installed and you could see the recent one a minute ago uh, is already created uh with that harness delegate ng namespace and yeah uh, so you could see it is uh normal it is running active now let's get in the dashboard and check uh, if it has got the heartbeat um, so basically harness tries to uh, capture an heartbeat uh, from that uh, Delegate installed in your cluster. As you could see, yes, the heartbeat is received and delegate has been installed uh, successfully. And now you could uh, use this delegate uh, to provision your target infrastructure as well as you know create your pipeline. So that's it.